Hey guys, Pete here with GIS Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how to extract contour lines from a raster file as well as updating the symbology, adding labels. In addition, we're going to look at those raster layers and make them a little more cartographically appealing. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and add my raster layer to my project. And it's right here in my downloads folder. So I'll add it and I'll close out of this window. Now, if you guys need help uh, finding these digital elevation model raster files, I'll leave a link in the description down below on a couple of videos I did about obtaining these files. Okay, so the next step is to extract the contour lines from this raster file. To do that, let's go up to Raster, Extraction, Contour. If I had multiple rasters, I would click this down arrow and select the right file, but I just have the one. I'm going to leave this as default, the band number. The interval between contour lines is defaulted to 10. It has a minimum value of 0, default to 10 but you can certainly change it. So say if I wanted 20 meters in between, I could certainly change that. The contour shape file is gonna have a new field and the default name is ele abbreviated elevation. I'm gonna leave that. If you need to change that, you could do that right here. I'm gonna leave this other item here as a default as well. I do want to save out this contour shapefile to my project folder, so I'll click the down arrow, click Save to File, and I'll just call it Contour. I will click Save and then Run. This process shouldn't take too long. Of course, each file is going to be different in size. Once it's done, you could clo close out of this window. And here are my contours. Okay, so I'll zoom into an area. So again, we want to kind of clean this up so it's a little more presentable. I'm going to select onto my shape file here. I can either double click to go to properties or right click and go to properties. Okay, I'll come up here to symbology and I'm just going to change the color to say black. Click apply. And now let's go and add some labels. So again, let me, if I close out of this, and I right click onto my contour shape file and go to attribute table. Here is that elevation field that was created. Okay, so I'm gonna double click this time to go to properties. I'm gonna click on labels. By default, it's no labels, but if I click the down arrow, I'll select single labels. Default value here in my case is ID. I'm going to change that to that elevation field. Okay, in the text, I'm going to leave the default to 10 points. And we'll come back to this in just a moment. So let me click on apply. And here you can see I have my labels. The labels are defaulted to be above the line. If you want to change that, you could still under layer properties under labels we come over here to placement and right here loud positions it's above the line but we want it on the line notice when i click onto this this above line is still checked so let's go and uncheck that and click apply you can see now that the labels are on the line but the problem here is the line is still going through that so to clean that up we could click on mask. Let's enable that mask and we'll give it a size. I'm going to say 1.5 and just tab out of that. And you can see here, mask. If I click on here, it's going to give me this little error. There should be another checkbox here. I'm not sure if it's just the version I'm using. Um, if I found a little workaround, if I just say OK, I go back into this and here that, that box is right here that I want to enable. So let's go and click on both. 
click apply and now you can see that there's that mask so it kind of hides that line a little bit better okay so another thing we could do is say we want to just let me just close out of that say we want to show every 100 meter intervals so in my case right here it says 1400 say i want the next label to be 1300 and then 1200 okay so to do that i'm gonna right click on my contour shape file open the attribute table and we're going to create a new field where we're going to identify those and we're going to call it index contour the field will be called index contour so to create that we're going to click on this little icon which is the field calculator so if i click onto that I want to create a new field, yes, and the output field name is going to be index contour. I'll say CON. The rest is fine here. I'll leave that as a default. In the expression box, I'm going to type if elevation, which is my field name right here, and double quote, so elevation and by a factor of yeah, the factor factor symbol is the percent sign factor of 100 equals zero then add a one otherwise no okay and i will click okay to that and now you can see it created that index contour field so with for every 100 meter interval i'm going to have a one otherwise there'll be null so 600 900 so forth so that looks good okay so i could go ahead and close out of my attribute table and i could also save that i'm going to say save and i'll double click again on this contour label or layer rather and I'll go to labels and I'm going to click on this little symbol here which is the expression builder so I'm going to delete what's defaulted there and the expression I'm going to use is case when so all caps case when oops I spell correctly here and double quote Actually, let me take away that double quote. Uh, a nice easy way to find your field names is if you go right here, expand this out, and here are my field names. So if when index condition equals do single quote one, then elevation end so this is basically saying we're going to label when the case when index condition equals one i will click ok to that and click apply see if that worked so yeah it looks like that look looks like it worked we have 1400 1300 so it looks good now we have the other contour lines let me just close out this box yeah that looks good but we want these index contours to be to stand out stand out a little more so maybe we could make the label to be bold and then maybe make the contour line a little thicker so let's go ahead and work on that so i'm going to double click on my contour shape file once again i'm going to come over to symbology Right now it's defaulted to single. I want to change this from single symbol to categorized. And I'm going to choose the value, index. And down here at the bottom, I'm going to click on classify. So all my ones, I want that to be the darker color, a little thicker, and then everything else will be another color. So I'm going to click right here change this to black say okay 
And I want to increase the width by a couple factors here. Click OK. Double click the other value, all non index contours. I also want that to be black. I'm going to leave the width that same size. And perhaps I can even bring down the, the transparency here, the opacity, say around 75%. Click OK, apply. And it looks like we need to do the mask one more time. Because right now these thick lines are cutting right through my contours. So let's go over to masks. And we'll make sure they're all checked. And then click apply and OK. And there, the updates have been made. Now as far as these rasters go, we could add a little color to this by creating two different layers. So if we duplicate this layer, and this bottom one, if we double click, we change the symbology to Hillshade, click Apply. You can see that's a little kind of rough, a uh, little kind of pixelated. So to clean that up, what we could do is we could play around with this Z factor value. If I say zero point, add a couple zeros, like one, two, three, four, and then like a five, click apply. You see that it's starting to clean up a little bit. I can add another zero, apply. So you can kind of mess around with this. It all depends on how your raster turns out to be. Um, another field you could play around with is this resampling zoomed in, zoomed out, it's defaulted to nearest neighbor. I'm going to change it to bilinear, click apply, and that's starting to look a little better. Now I could go back to the Z factor and maybe play around with this a little bit more. Um, again, each one's going to be different. Okay, so this is looking a little better, a little cleaner. Again, this is just going to be the bottom. Now the top here, let's go and change this to pseudo single band pseudo color and then we could change the color ramp I did a video not too long ago about, about adding additional color ramps to QGIS uh, I'll leave a link in the description down below to that as well uh, when I do when you add that you click this create new color ramp and you select CPT city and there's a lot of color ramps to choose from over a thousand color ramps if I click on to topography, I'm going to select this particular one because I like the color. Click apply and OK. And one thing I forgot to do was to set a little transparency so we could see the hill shape down below. Again, you can kind of play with this a little bit more. Maybe down here. Okay, so here we go. So we went ahead and extracted the contour lines. We kind of cleaned up the symbology and labeling. And additionally, we played around with the raster file. So I hope this was helpful. By all means, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And of course, if you have any suggestions on future videos, please leave those as well. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.